Grid 92, Pro FM with the Pointer Sisters, and that's Jump with Jimmy Gray. And Chris, I just have to tell you that a lot of times, you know, sometimes I, I get the feeling that you're taken for granted, but this is the day when everybody here at Pro FM, of course, in the listening audience, truly appreciates Chris Camp. Why, uh, well, you know, not here? only because what of the did fact, I do? Uh, well, you know, you won the, the AP all around best newscast and all that kind of stuff, but probably all over the dial today, you know, reporters are going to be going on with their news, and their lead story is how <laughs> Foxborough turned down Michael Jackson, and so many of these amateurs are going to be saying in their copy that they told him to beat it, but a true professional like yourself. I will we, not use the word beat it. We do morning. not have to worry about you saying something like That's that. That's right. And here he is, award-winning, and here's why Christopher Jennings Camp with the news. It is 60 degrees. Look for a high about 83 today with sunshine. A check of Pro FM's AccuWeather in just a couple of minutes. All right, Michael Jackson fans are bound to be less than thrilled with the decision made last night. Morrow, David Weiss has the details. The unprecedented anticipation is over, at least for now. The answer from the Board of Selectmen here in Foxborough is no. The vote, unanimous, three to nothing, in favor of denying the Jackson's concert license. According to Selectman Chairman Richard Thompson, the reasons included lack of adequate security as presented in a plan by Stadium Management Corporation, the potential hazards to area businesses, and a general public hazard to the town, including traffic congestion and other factors. What's next? Garrett Spillane, representing stadium management, said the avenue of appeal has yet to be discussed, in his words, but it is open and a possibility. An appeal to the courts on the license denial would have to be filed within 10 days' time. But once again, the proposed mid-August appearance at Foxborough Sullivan Stadium by Michael Jackson and his brothers shot down by the Board of Selectmen. It's 61 degrees with sunny skies. Your Pro FM News and Information time is 631. Winsocket Savings and Trust present. Report is brought to you by Winsocket Savings and Trust. Members FDIC. Here's Elliot Abrams with the latest Pro FM AccuWeather forecast. Well, Chris, it's going to be sunny today. The high temperature is 76 to 80. Following Saturday, mostly sunny. High both days, 74 to 78. 92 Pro FM's exclusive AccuWeather. This is meteorologist Elliot Abram. At the moment, it's 61 degrees. I'm Chris Camp. Pro FM News and Information, an antique car show and swap meet will be held Sunday, June 24th at the Rocky Hill Fairgrounds in Route 2. The proceeds to benefit the Rhode Island Special Olympics. He uh, certainly has a lot of energy. Much it, more than, demonstrates much more energy than our son. Chris, did you hear how tired he was this morning on the 6 o'clock? It it's 6.33. It's, it's, and back to oh, Pro FM's Jiffy Gray. Not later. Oh, hello. <clears throat> I was just talking to your producer here, Danny. Was, yeah. He had read, pre-read some of your mother's letter that came in this morning. Oh, really? He's opening your uh, mail? Well, <clears throat> yeah. yeah. It's against it the law. E it was either that or a raise in pay. <laughs> I see. It says, uh, he's amazed at how well your mother gets around. It says, yeah. Dear Pro FM's Jimmy Gray and Sonny, mm -hmm. Mrs. Gibbs, her lovely but well-endowed daughter, Wellesley and myself, are a little let down today. Because Michael Jackson won't be at Foxborough. Gosh, she does get around. Yeah, she says, we went to the meeting to cover the story for the Norwich Tattler. The, yeah. Oh, I forgot yeah. to mention, I got a part-time job with the paper. The extra money does come in handy. Uh -huh. Especially since you never mail any home anymore. <laughs> also gives me some great tax deductions, yeah, too. I see. I can imagine. Wellesley was really upset. Uh, he was wasted. He wanted to see uh, Michael's dance steps to maybe uh, incorporate some of them into his ballet performance. I see. I oh. did uh, console him by reminding him that uh, his brother, Chris, would get us some tickets to the Pro FM Michael Jackson video party at the Civic Center uh, Friday night. Hmm. You do have the tickets, don't you? Um, they're around here somewhere. All right. Oh, she says, by the way, your your uncle, Thelonious Camp, uh, yes. he's now quit his job at the Norwich Fire Hydrant Manufacturing Company. Oh, really? Yeah. Claimed he could never find a place to park anywhere. Oh, really? So he's extinguished. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of that, you might want to throw some water on this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See if a yellow or a red fire truck. Wellesley uh, met another new girl. Oh, really? Ramona Bamona. Uh, Ramona Bamona. Yeah, I don't want to say she's unattractive, but All really, right. she's so ugly. How ugly is Ramona Bamona? Uh, well, she rents herself out to cure hiccups. Does she really? <laughs> Ooh. It's ghastly. Yeah. Oh, by the way, too, uh... Wanted to tell you that Stan the plumber stopped by the house yesterday. Finally got that new bathroom. Oh, really? Yeah, the old one oh, kept uh, tipping over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uncle Waldo Camp has now come up with a way to make a few extra bucks, too. Really? Yeah, Waldo walks around downtown Norwich wearing a raincoat and socks. And Why? For, well, for a dollar, he gives you a quick preview of Flashdance. 
Yeah. Oh. Yesterday he made six dollars. Yeah. Three of it though was from Wellesley. <laughs> I see. <laughs> well, gotta run, Sonny. See you Friday night. Don't forget the tickets, Mom. And uh, there's a P.S. too. Yeah. Oh, she says. By the way, Uncle Tyrone Camp has uh, just returned from his trip to the Orient. Oh, I'm glad to hear he's back. Yeah. Well, not really. He's oh, in yeah. jail now. Oh no. Yeah, in customs. Yeah. They asked him if he had anything to declare. Yeah. Yeah. He said his shorts were too tight. Uh oh. Jimmy Cray starts your day with a hit on Pro FM. I just got this letter in the mail here from uh, the Express Courier. You might want to check oh, this out. Is this hey, from, from uh, Chris... Compton, R.I.? Oh, I yeah. thought it could have been from Norwich, Connecticut. Chris? Yeah. It's from Tony Bristol. Really? Yeah, it says, Dear Pro FM's Jimmy Gray and Christopher Jennings Camp. Hmm. It says, uh, I'm having a great time at Mar Barker's Rest Home for Wayward Media People in Little Compton, R.I. At first, I didn't like my roommate. A DJ from San Francisco. His name was Wendell. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he kept yeah. playing the same song over and over every night in the room. I'd like to get to know you. <laughs> now he's playing Dancing in the Sheets a lot. <laughs> anyway, this remedial... Better than short sheeting a bed. <laughs> this remedial and relaxation camp has does, done wonders for me. <laughs> I've learned to right. relax, and through mind control, I don't flip out now when anybody calls me the little fella, yeah. or if they make fun of my sexual promise, or if... He says, even if I had another week here, I'm sure they could cure some of my other fears. Oh, really? Like thunder, the dark, smucker's jelly, tall women, guys named Vito, and static electricity. Well, <laughs> hair will stand on well, Last night was awards night. He says, I came in second for the Barbara Walters Best Diction Award. I, I don't say Nort Providence anymore. <laughs> I really wanted the Doug White Best Hairstyle Award, but a Monroe Taves won that one. <laughs> uh, tonight is uh, sing-along night by the barbecue pit. I figure I'd lead the camp, and I'd like to get to know you. Except for a few Rex Smith songs, it's the only one I know all the words to. Of course, that goes thanks to my roommate, Wendell. He was surprised, by the way, of the difference in camps between here on the East Coast and out on the West Coast in San Francisco. Are you there? Yes. Yeah, you're still there, Chris? Yeah. yeah, he's done. I know it's a boring letter, but what do you expect from I'm the little fellow? Yeah. It says there is one big difference between the two camps. What is the difference? Well, Wendell between... says here here on the East Coast, yeah. at mail call, you get letters. Jimmy Cray starts your day with the hits on Pro Uh, into the construction area, they are starting to move the barrels about, so uh, you're going to be restricted on that right-hand side as you pass through the Seekonk. For 92 Pro FM AAA Traffic Network and the CBS American Band, Joe Fusco. Well, thanks for the offer, Joe, but as they uh, say in the travel lane, I'll pass. It's 7 70 Pro FM degrees as we go to the Pro FM winner's phone. Hello, Pro FM. I the correct caller? You are a Pro FM winner. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Who's this? Terry Ramsey. From where, Terry? Exeter. All right, well, you have a date for tomorrow night? Yeah, well, I think so. All right, well, you're all set. You can take a date to the movies. Oh, great. To see Top Secret at the Showcase in Warwick. Have a great time from Pro FM, Terry. Oh, thank you. Channel 12 Michael Jackson Video Party, Friday, June 22nd at the Providence Civic Center to benefit the March of Dimes. I'm kind of crazy telling you about my copper tone tan, because unless you're on vacation... Casual Mail, Gansett Shopping Center, Newport Avenue, East Providence, and Spring Plaza, Mineral Spring Avenue, North Providence. 721-92, Pro FM, Sox lost blue to Baltimore, 9-7, Detroit beat the Yankees, 7-6, Pawtucket beat Tidewater, 7-5, all those teams will play each other again tonight. 69, Pro FM, degrees with sunshine, and here's Cindy Lauper. No, what are you, Terry? Well, when I, when I went home, I stayed up late. I had to watch the videotapes of, you know, the game. Oh, I see. The pitching and the hitting and the form and everything like that. Oh, you that. had to leave your arm in the ice, too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was kind of chilly last night for that, too. Yeah. Uh, only one question kept coming up to mind. What well, was that? I wonder how much the Jocelyn Jokers had paid the umpire. <laughs> 
725 at Draw FM, and here's Christopher Jennings, Camp with the News. It is 70 degrees. We're headed for a high of 83 today with sunny skies and low humidity. A check of the Pro FM AccuWeather forecast in just a couple of minutes. Edaville is open daily now through October 31st, and it's so much better than a blue sweater. Good day to be outside today. Here's Pro FM AccuWeather meteorologist Elliot Abrams. Morning, Chris. Full of sunshine today. Be breezy with low humidity. High near 83. With 92 Pro FM's exclusive Accu Weather, this is meteorologist Elliot Abram. Right now with sunny skies at 70 degrees, I'm Chris Camp. Pro FM News and Information members of the West Warwick High School class of 1969, 15th year reunion plans are underway. If you want to help, call Bob at 821-2567. At 7.31, back to Pro FM's Jimmy Gray. And here she is in all her resplendent splendor. The Pro FM entertainment critic gossip and all around snoop. Miss Rhoda Blavitt. Take it away, Rhoda. Thanks, Jimmy, but I'm still having a problem with my voice. Oh, sorry to hear that, but I heard you lost it reviewing an all-male review, yelling them to take it off. Take it off! Take it off! I never... No, 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 I heard that you lost it at a wet t-shirt contest, pleading with a crowd to vote with their heart, not their eyes. Oh, no, it was while reviewing a movie. Oh, come on, Rhoda, we know you're better than that. Well, uh, all right, all right. I was trying to make a few bucks at a wet t-shirt contest. But some of those broads went a little too far, and the police raided the place, and, well, we ended up at the paddy wagon. Oh, I thought you said you made a lot of money, Rhoda. Yeah. I was going to donate it to charity. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you were busted because of your bust? <laughs> Not quite, no. See, I get motion sickness, and I kept yelling to let me out of the back of the wagon, or I was going to be sick, but no. And they just got me for disturbing the peace. Yeah, you should have pretended it was the back of an 83 Buick or an 81 Pontiac. Or a 75 Chevy or a 59 Etzel. Oh, I think I'm going to be sick now. Well, just pretend the control room here is the Holiday Inn. Or the Ramada Inn or, or the, the Biltmore or Winnebago. Jimmy Gray starts your day. Now it's fun, bro.